Hi, I'm Christops from UGCS and welcome back to our series of Autopilot Precision. In this series we compare multiple drones from different manufacturers, see how well they compare against one another in terms of precision. We fly all the drones in a photogrammetry route created in UGCS and then compare the results of these flights in Google Earth to the test route. In this episode we will be taking a look at the results of the DJI M600 to see how well it performed on our test route. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Here I already have the test route open in Google Earth. For the M600 we'll be taking a look at two turn types, stop and turn and adaptive bank turn. Let's start with the stop and turn trajectory. When looking at the flight results from above you can tell that overall they are quite good. Comparing to other drones the M600 is logging its location more often which can be seen by the large amount of reference points in the flight. While the M600 did not have any trouble sticking to the survey lines, when cornering it did slightly deviate off the set route but managed to correct itself quickly. This deviation can perhaps be explained by the larger mass of the drone compared to some other lighter drones out there. Altitude wise the results are very good, the DJI M600 managed to keep the constant altitude all throughout the route with no major issues at all. Let's now take a look at the results of the flight done using the adaptive bank turn type. First thing you probably notice here is how the turns are slightly different and more rounded, which is exactly what is expected of the adaptive bank turn type. Survey lines have some small deviations in the very beginning when the drone tries to correct itself after turning, but these deviations are not significant and are usually characteristic to this turn type. The turn pattern in both corners seems to be consistent and accurate. When looking at the altitude, as expected, it's as good as in the flight before, with the DJI M600 managing to keep exactly at the height set. Overall, we can conclude that for the drone such as the DJI M600, the results are very good considering the weight of it. This is certainly a very capable professional class drone, which can be seen from the results. If you are interested in more content, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as follow us on Facebook. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. As always, UGCS mission planning software for drones can be downloaded from our website, ugcs.com. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.